you're with us on this Monday. It's going to be warmer. That's the good That'll thing we're nice. going to be talking about. But our I team tonight investigating the safest and most efficient way to store and share your vaccination card. Consumer investigator Jason Knowles here with a look at what he's working on for tonight at 10 on ABC 7. And Jason, you've been looking into all these different ways to yeah. store your information. What did you find out and why would consumers want to use these and are they safe? That's like four questions for you, <laughs> but we'll take an answer to any of them. Yes, all yeah, of lots them. of lots of questions there, but there are a lot of questions about these platforms. I mean, the short answer is these are safe. I mean, look, there's always an exception to anything. Hackers are targeting everything and you know that I, I do those stories all the time as well. But the short answer is yes, these are safe. They are highly encrypted. And what happens is you put your vaccination card and you put your license or your state ID up into these platforms platforms. Some act as web-based platforms and then you can put it into your phone's wallet. Others are apps. Once they match up all of this information and verify this information, it's a breeze to get into those restaurants and bars. Um, you know, I actually did this myself and, and, and we've all been in this situation, right? You walk into the bar, you walk into the restaurant, uh, the movie theater, I was just at a movie uh, yesterday and you know, people are fumbling around. They're looking for that picture in, in their phone's camera roll, or they're uh, then pulling out their license and trying to match it up. And, and it actually speeds the process up. I tried this on my own. I used one of these apps and I, I just put up my information. It was pretty quick. It was pretty easy. It then generates a QR code. I can then tap on that QR code mm. and then it can even go deeper into seeing the vaccination card through the app and it has a picture of me. And the one I tried out was clear. We're gonna talk about some others as well, but you know, it, it really is a breeze. People are hesitant, though. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I, you upload anything personally. You know, he right, says government days. ID card, and you sit up and like, I'm out. Yeah, I don't want to do that. But, you know, there is talk about maybe not having to have the vaccine card. And if this mandate showing your vaccine status goes away, Jason, what will happen with your information that you've uploaded? Great yeah, question. yeah. Great question, because there was some talk of that last week. So, look even if this does eventually go away, and we don't know if it will go away or not, there has been talk that it could go away in the city of Chicago because we know that our numbers are going down, of course. But even if it does, you have to remember that the bars and the restaurants can decide to still do this. Even if there's no mandate, even if there's no law, a bar or a restaurant can say, hey, you know, we still wanna potentially keep our uh, consumers safe and we are going to require this. You know, it's also good just to do because you should have this information all in one safe, secure place. I mean, you could also argue that it's even dangerous just in your phone alone if some people don't have a passcode on their phone. So, you know, there are a lot of uses for this coming up. You know, if you're gonna be going to concerts, events, I mean, you may even be able to use this if you're traveling internationally. Also, uh, don't forget, even if they get rid of it here in Chicago, other cities may have this. So at 10 o'clock, we're gonna take a look at all of these different options for you. There's also another one through the state and there are a couple of other options if you don't wanna upload your information to these apps because that could be a concern. It's like a digital wallet of sorts with that. Right. And if you can steer, if he can steer us into the right I mean, I trust Jason, right? Yeah. So if he's going to say this thing and, works. And he did a story the last week where 10 billion passwords were discovered or recovered. So. That was also scary. Yeah. That's on the website, yeah. too. You know, uh, this your airs as priority. Ten, <laughs> right. Tonight at 10, this airs, and then we'll, we'll show it again tomorrow as we usually Full do uh, here at 7 p.m. So we'll see you tonight at 10 uh, on ABC 7. It's, a, it's another good one. Right. A lot of people will hopefully get some answers. Paying attention to that one because it affects everybody. So, all right. Thanks hey, so much, Thanks Jason. for having me as always. We, sure. we love it when you come here and give us great advice and information, eye-opening always. So coming up next, though, everybody,